Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the compressor capacitor in this Carrier Gree ETAC heat pump unit, you will need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, a short number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, and needle nose pliers. Before you begin, be sure to turn the unit off and disconnect the power supply. Remove the unit's front panel by pulling the bottom of the panel out to release it from the tabs, then lift up. Use the number two Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw securing the control panel. Detach the control panel. Now unthread the lower right screw securing the junction box cover. Unthread the three screws securing the junction box itself. Pull back the cover to fully detach the junction box from the power cord. Disconnect the power cord wire connector. Next, unthread the six screws securing the control box's side access cover. Remove the cover. You should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor to avoid injury by placing the needle nose pliers across each set of terminals. Avoid touching the middle portion of the tool when doing this. Now use the short number two Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw to release the capacitor from its mounting strap. Lift up the wire insulators. Note the orientation of the wires, then use the needle nose pliers to depress the locking tabs to release the wires. To install the new compressor capacitor, attach the wires to the appropriate terminals and slide the insulators over the terminals. Position the capacitor in the mounting strap and thread the screw to hold the capacitor in place. Realign the side access cover and thread the screws to secure. Reconnect the power cord wire connector. Then reposition the junction box and rethread the screws.
Rethread the lower right screw to fully secure the cover. Realign the control panel and thread the screw to secure. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs over the top rail. Then push the bottom of the panel in until it snaps into place. Restore power to the unit and the ETAC heat pump system should be ready for use.